So this is how we nesting if else statement. But um, so in case of like this, we have like seven options, right? There is another way to write this, which is much simpler uh, than using if else, because in this program we are basically repeating ourselves uh, seven times. So the way to simplify nested if else statement is to use a switch statement. First, let me show you uh, the syntax of switch statement. So, um, switch statement goes like this. Start with a keyword switch, and then followed by a parenthesis. Inside of parenthesis is the value that you want to evaluate, okay? Value to evaluate right and then follow that is a pair of curly braces and then um, here is your first condition okay uh, before your first condition you write case which is another keyword and followed by the condition one and then a colon um, so after the colon uh, is the code that you want to execute if condition one uh, is satisfied, okay? Uh, okay, code to run if condition one is true. And then follow that, it's a break keyword. A break. So, which means you break out of the uh, switch block. Uh, because this part is done, right? And then here is your case two, condition two, and then code to run if two is true, right? So after that, it's another break statement, right? You can have many cases, okay? can have many cases and then at the bottom of the uh, switch statement is usually a default keyword which is the default condition which, which is like uh, the last else statement in nested if else statement right so uh, run if all above conditions are false okay and then followed by the last break statement and that's the complete switch statement syntax now let's rewrite our last example to use the switch statement instead of nested if else um, so let's keep the initialization and the first if which is to take the remainder and then let's comment out the if else okay and then let's uh, change it to switch okay switch and the value that I want to compare it's num right and curly braces so case one case um, the first case is one right uh so it's monday and then it's followed by a break right and then there is case two uh then it is System dot out dot print lane uh, is Tuesday, and then break right indent. Now is case three. Um, let's just copy this. Okay. Uh, it is Wednesday, 
and then let's copy the whole thing. Okay, one, two, three, and this this should be four, and this is uh, Thursday, and then five is Friday. Okay, this is six, which is Saturday. And the last is zero, which should be uh, Sunday, right? And then we can have a default, but um, you know we we don't want to do anything inside of default, right? So what we can say is basically just say um, break, right? We don't want to do anything inside of default. So that's it, right? Let's uh, let's try to run this program. Uh, num is 15, right? It should give us Monday. It should give us Monday. It is Monday. It's the same result. Um, say 12. 12 should be... What? Friday? Oh, yeah, it's Friday. So there we go. That's how we use switch statement uh, to replace the nested if else, if we have too many options, it it is much simpler than just writing uh, else if else if many many times.